Over the last three years, Ethiopia has been grappling with sporadic protests in different parts of the country, triggered by lack of good governance, youth unemployment, and issues of democratization. This situation resulted in discriminate killing of innocent people, destruction of infrastructures, public and private properties across the country. As a means of widening the political space and to give chance for democratic reforms, Former Prime Minister Haile Mariam da Salim resigned from his position. Through the in-depth reforms, the EPRDF elected a new Prime Minister, Dr. Abiy Ahmed, in April in a peaceful power transition, setting an example for the rest of Africa. Since then, a number of political reforms were accomplished, including rapprochement between Eritrea and Ethiopia after more than two decades of standoff. The coming of Prime Minister Abiy to power had brought a glimmer of hope to the peoples of the country as well as positive expectations from the international community on efforts to be made in building viable democracy in the country. This is what resident ambassadors in Ethiopia said regarding the ongoing reforms in Ethiopia. The Korean government very strongly supports the reforms that uh, new Prime Minister Abiy has been pursuing since he came to power uh, last April. Uh, we highly value uh, his efforts uh, to, to establish an inclusive uh, political culture. Mm. So with uh, the various measures uh, which transcend Mm, the, the boundaries of tribes and regions, especially the sending the messages of unity and harmony. Uh, Sweden, uh, we and myself are very positive to the changes that we see. Uh, we think that it has been long wished for by the Ethiopian people to have uh, increased uh, freedom of speech, media freedom, uh, peace with neighboring countries, all these things we welcome very much. I hope that they are reforms that will unify the country, that will stop uh, some of the protests and hostilities in parts of the countries. And I think they are also very important in increasing uh, the economic performance of Ethiopia. Let me express uh, the Turkish government's support to Ethiopia for all these reforms. I mean, uh, we are very happy to see these reforms and we encourage Ethiopia uh, to uh, continue with these reforms. And uh, actually, we think opening up Ethiopia's economy uh, would attract more investors to Ethiopia. Visits made by the Prime Minister to the neighboring countries, including Djibouti, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Eritrea and Sudan, did not only help to strengthen the relationship between the respective countries, but was also instrumental to foster multiple levels of regional integration. The measures taken by the Premier in the economic sector, including partial privatization of some of state-owned enterprises, such as the Ethio Telecom, shipping lines, Ethiopian Airlines, and the railway, are meant to accelerate the economic development of the country by attracting foreign direct investment, relieving thousands of prisoners within and outside of the country, calling for political parties for peaceful political struggle, promotion of freedom of expression, are among other major achievements 
by the Premier and his party. Indian investors, uh, you know, if you look at their investments, they spread across, across various areas. You know, they are in traditional areas like chemicals, plastics, uh, machinery. They are in areas, more recent areas like textile and garments, paper, um, food processing, etc. Uh, you know, the economic reforms under Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has clearly generated a lot of interest amongst Indian investors. The recent announcement of privatization of some state enterprises in the areas of airlines, telecom and shipping. Uh, I would say that Indian in investors would be interested uh, because we ourselves have very large uh, global companies in these areas. There has been very historic developments in, in uh, your country in the last few months. First of all, the peaceful transition of power and the mature way in which it was handed is an example for many others. And then, of course, the political reform process, most significant of which has been the rapprochement with uh, Eritrea. I think uh, this is something, again, which has generated a lot of hope and enthusiasm in this region. And we share the sense of optimism. We stand for peace and development in, in uh, Africa and in this region. And uh, we, we believe that this has further reinforced Ethiopia's regional leadership position. The African problems only need African solutions. And that is a slogan that African Union has been singing for many, many years. But it was you not know, realized until 20... Uh, 18, when Prime Minister Abiy came to power, that slogan now has been fulfilled. And for that we are so happy. This is the way forward and we will make sure that as a region we stand behind uh, uh, Prime Minister Abiy because he called for peace in this region. Uh, foreign investors and businesses always uh, want predictability in a way and uh, they need a business climate that is conducive for, for their own, own businesses and, and uh, it seems that more businesses are, are now interested in coming, coming to Ethiopia with your very impressive uh, economic growth. Um, and uh, recently, of course, many, many things have been happening uh, within the country and within the whole uh, Horn of Africa region. Uh, which seems to many investors and, and people following the situation as, as positive. And, uh, but of course it's, it's always up to uh, the uh, local people to work hard and, uh, and uh, make these uh, reforms uh, an everyday thing and make them, uh, make them actually work and implement in a way that it, it benefits not only uh, Ethiopia, but the whole Horn of Africa region. Australia has been watching the reform process very closely. I myself personally look forward to the day when I can drive to Asmara uh, in my car from here. I think that will be a great day. Uh, Australian businesses are watching the economic reforms very closely. What we're looking forward to is uh, Ethiopia, which is uh, more open, more, uh, uh, which is growing. Um, I think one of the things the reforms can do is, is really open up Ethiopia to the world. Uh, Ethiopia has 100 million people, it has a very large agricultural base and lots of potential. Similarly in mining there is a lot of potential, people are very well educated and I think uh, if uh, more investors can come and invest in Ethiopia it will be great for Ethiopia and also for Australia. The political reforms introduced by the Prime Minister are expected to create an opportunity for opposition political parties to come to their country and contribute their share in the nation's development endeavour. This situation is expected to make the upcoming national election to become free and fair with the involvement of strong competing political opposition parties. All these progresses are not realised by only a single person, but it needed the collaboration of all stakeholders and the entire population. Despite some progress so far made, there are many challenges that need to be resolved. Even then, a bright future is in the horizon for Ethiopia.